In the energy quadrant here at the CME Group, you have to talk about crude today. Down almost 4% on the lows, getting as low as $50.08, rallying all the way back up to above 51.50 to finish down two and a quarter percent. The OPEC meeting was what we were waiting for all day long, waiting for that press conference. That never happened. There were all kinds of conflicting reports out of the OPEC meeting. The minister of Iran. Uh, saying there wouldn't be a deal. The oil minister of Oman saying that looked likely Saudi Arabia saying they were waiting for Russia. They'd canceled the press conference, pushing it off to Friday, waiting for Russia to chime in, which I guess hadn't happened yet. The Russian delegation shows up in Friday. So maybe we'll have some news on the OPEC decision in terms of a production cut tomorrow. EIA, which was pushed from Wednesday to today, showed an inventory draw on crude oil, 7.3 million barrels of crude oil drawn, refinery utilization flat, but the previous six weeks of refinery utilization were up, showing short-term demand. So this draw is not necessarily that big of a surprise. We are now 6% above the five-year average for this time of year in terms of crude oil inventories. And then on the gasoline side, we had an inventory build, 1.7 million barrels built, not unusual when we're in the depths of the low demand period with no summer driving season to drive gasoline demand. We're now 4% above the five-year average on gasoline inventory. So very conflicting signals. Oil bulls can take a little bit of solace from the rally in toward the end of the day. But here we sit waiting again for the OPEC press conference, which should happen tomorrow when Russia chimes in. It looks like there's going to be a production cut. The level of cut, however, remains critical.